Hi. Hi, I'm Timothy O'Malley. I'm with EEG, where I'm EVP for U.S. Business. Uh, this is beautiful. It looks, uh, it looks like print, it right? It does look like print. I would like to show you our latest Spectra 6. It was announced earlier this year. This is the most advanced color e-paper product line that we have, and you can see it looks like high quality print. Uh, it looks amazing. It's high contrast, high saturation. We expect great things from this. E-Ink Spectra 6, does that mean there's a sixth generation? Uh, in this case, it's the set that there's six primaries that we're using. So these images are composed of six different primaries that are grouped together in order to reproduce full color. Uh, is there the, what do you call that layer that's sometimes in front to, to make it, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you, you have the black and white in the back and then you have the, so the we, layer that makes all the colors. Do you still yeah. do that part? We still do that part. So our product is this electronic ink film. This film contains the different particles that when moved to the right location or mixed in the right way, produce those different colors, those six primaries that we talked about. And when arranged appropriately, generate images of full color. And so that allows us to create not only this high saturation, but also these beautiful images. And how long does it take to refresh? These are refreshing in about 12 seconds, which uh, you may remember some of our earlier product lines for high color were closer to 30 seconds. We continue to push the advancement there. So while they are much more saturated and with a wider set of colors than before, they're also faster. Uh, this is so awesome. Uh, is there any chance this is gonna be affordable and mass produced and all over the world and changing the whole world? Of course it is. As you know, everything starts with volume drives price. So as we introduce this, as early adopters take it, and then it gets more popular and then even broader, price will come down over time. That looks awesome. Is it possible to have a smaller bezel in between? Uh, so this is our larger format, which does have a, a larger bezel slightly. Um, as we introduce different sizes, each of the sizes will have bezels that's appropriate with our reliability testing. So over time, we continue to push those down. We find that in most of the installations, they want something that's sturdy and structural. And so this is a great first step product for us. Of course, it looks completely amazing outdoors, right? It looks completely amazing outdoors. The so, more light you have, the better an e-ink display looks. It's basically the opposite of every other display that you have experience with. That, we shine outdoors. That's what I love about e-ink. You, you, you are getting people away from these uh, these lights, indoor lights, and getting them to go outside, get some air, in the fresh air, Yes. and look at these beautiful photos on the street. In or most cases, if you on, were to see this you know, on the street, you might not know it's an e-ink display and if you didn't happen to be there when it was switching. It's that looks like printing that much, and it will just shine outdoors. It, there needs to be like a, a calculation where you say, okay, that's the cost, but because of this functionality, it's worth, it, and with the advertising income, if it's an ad banner, in a X amount of months, it, pay, it paid for itself, or X amount of weeks sure. even. Well, there's a number of things that go into that, and you may know that in different parts of Europe, they're putting restrictions on what signs can operate in certain outdoor locations, primarily for energy use. So an EPD and e-ink display at very low power, doesn't use any power when it updates, helps bring that capability to more locations than you could have with a high energy consuming display. Combined with, we can run off solar power in most cases, which means that you don't have to dig up concrete, lay a line, power, in order to run the display. More locations, better total economics of use over time. Nice. All right. That's awesome. Yes. Let's walk this, around. What are you wearing, your t-shirt? Yeah, so on my t-shirt is an image from CES this year, where we did you a- You were the best of the show. Color, oh, of course we were. Color changing car Again. with BMW. BMW might tell you they were the best of the show. We're thrilled that we were able to work with such a partner. Uh, and this t-shirt commemorates that, as does this image on the wall over here behind me. So we've created an image that is referencing, yep, referencing 
that car that we did in CES. Oh, yeah. It wasn't practical to mount the car on the wall, so this was the next best thing. And you, you can bring the car? We, no, we didn't bring the car. There's no like the lift over there. It's only an escalator for people, not it, for cars. The car is a superstar model. Its dance card is full. We couldn't get it for the show. Nice. Uh, so this particular Prism 3 product line is taking that type of color that you saw, we talked about before, but now putting it into a different format. It's bringing personalization and innovation to design. We want to enable designers to take color changing surfaces and build that into interesting ways to improve product design and improve that human element of interaction. I think the, the trick is how heavy is it, how expensive is it? Is it possible that it's not so heavy and it's not so expensive? So electronic paper is a very thin film. It's basically thin pigments, so it's extremely light. There's, there's no heaviness to it. We do need to work on engineering in order to apply it to different surfaces, and we're working with partners in order to be able to do that. The CES show, BMW did a lot of work to apply it to the car. They're experts in that, and that's the type of integration I mean, where we're experts in the color film, we work with people who are experts in product design, and together we create something better than the parts. It's just a few kilos. It's just a few, maybe it's just a few kilos. Maybe not even that. This is very lightweight. There's not, the weights, I would not focus on the weight. Focus on the cool factor, the emotions it generates. When you see the color changing car, it creates a lot of emotion. Yeah, it's, uh, I love watching videos on YouTube of architects. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. I like the Danish architect called Bjarke Engels, just for example. Yeah. But it'd be awesome to just be an architect and have this tool and be like, I want to do this crazy building. And I know there's a few projects already, right? There was a San Diego rental car center where they copied an old design from World War II called Dazzle. In World War II, the Dazzle design was to hide battleships on the horizon by creating different angles that broke up the surface. Because they have a base out in San Diego, they wanted to lean into that type of aesthetic. And so they put these panels on the building to recreate that kind of feel. Nice. It was very nice. They're all independently controlled, separate panels. Uh, it was a fun project to do. Yeah. So, can you say a little bit about e-ink trying to get the cost down for all these displays? Uh, it's all about volume? You just uh, make more and then it gets cheaper or how does it work? Um, so for the most part we have over a billion displays in the world installed today. So cost isn't one of the things that we get necessarily as preventing adoption with a billion displays installed. As with anything, the more that we can do, we continue to try and bring costs down. But we've been really pushing on functionality, feature set, and performance because we mostly hear the quality is what people want. Awesome. Yes. I, I love this show. Let's yes. walk around your oh, booth. All right, which way do you want this to go? This way? Okay. We can go this way. Let's go this way. Yeah, I can briefly okay. introduce you to some of our transportation, which is over here on this wall. So we have a number of signs installed in Europe, in Australia, in the US, so globally, uh, where we have different aspects of transportation signage. So again, we're talking about either information or advertising presented to people where they need it in a low power, sun-friendly, paper-like way. You can see how beautiful and high fidelity these signs look, and even better in sunlight. Yes. We've introduced recently our Kaleido 3 outdoor product line, which these two 42-inch large format displays are. So Kaleido 3 outdoor extends our temperature range in order to support outdoor installation formats. That's why we call it outdoor. Uh, and we've also, in this particular case, increased the size of the product offering up to 42-inch. Primarily, these will be used for information type signs, as you can see here. Um, and are perfectly suitable for transportation environments. Am I seeing front light? These both have a front light on them. In many cases, we think front light extends the experience. People can uh, need to see it in the dark and they need to see it in the light. With the Kaleido product line, it's a good fit with front light. So we tend to integrate it that way. But of course, a customer can make their own choice. What's the main thing about Kaleido? 
So Kaleido leverages our black and white film, some of our most mature technology, but it adds a color filter on top. And what we've been doing lately with Kaleido is continuing to optimize the light stack, so to keep every photon possible, so that we can improve the color experience. You may, we've probably seen our displays over time with color filters, and they keep getting brighter and higher resolution, and that's what we've been doing, and this is what Kaleido 3 Outdoor is. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for with a Spectra color filter. There's no color filter with Spectra. No color filter so that is Spectra. color. Spectra uses uh, pigment particles, similar to you would have with your inkjet printer, but we move them dynamically using our magic. And so you get the high saturated color from particles that are intrinsic colors, not a color filter. Each pixel can, can show any one of those primaries. Um, and you have all the optical benefits of the full saturation of that pigment on the surface. Nice. And there's some more spectra right there's more, we've put some, the same? Yeah. This is also, also the same. We have some of the smaller sizes and some of the larger sizes. But yes, this is the same. And where do these go, the, the small ones? Uh, most of Spectra 6 is initially targeted at indoor. We think retail will be very popular, but also any place that people want to do some high saturated advertising. Um, especially if we can have power savings and things. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you've moved over to the E-Note section. That, okay, oh, should we finish that one? I'm okay jumping to E-Note yeah, for now if you want. Yeah, we can go back I, I and forth. The, I love these devices. Yeah, so, so as you know, E-Ink is really looking at a paper replacement strategy. We look at places where people use paper today and say, how can we make that better? Of course, writing. Uh, I'd have to turn that one in standby. So, of course, writing is a big way we use paper today. And so we've leaned heavily into improving our latency in order to give awesome writing experiences. And we've seen that by increasing adoption of E-Note globally. So, uh, I run into more people at conferences with eNotes that tell me how much they love their uh, latest version of it, whether that's uh, the Kobo Ellipsa or the Remarkable 2, or we have a Kindle Scribe over here. Which one is the best? They're all the best. You cannot say, huh? I love you all work my at children. E -Ink, right? I love all my children. <laughs> yeah, I, I like these guys. Books. Like I've audit. been filming with books for yes. 10 years. Uh, I, I also love books. They make a great device. It has a nice Android integration, which is a strong feature that, that, that they particularly bring. That's not an e is it? No, but that the computer is connected to this monitor. Ah, okay. So one of the things that uh, you may have no read recently is e Inc. did a study with the Harvard School of Public Health where we looked at the health effects or the less healthy effects of screen time. We're all on our phones or in front of our TVs watching Netflix up to 9, 10, 11 hours a day. And so we looked at what kind of stress does that do on your retinal cells, on your eyes. And an e-ink display with a comfort gaze front light, which is a blue light minimizing front light, is up to three times healthier compared to other screens. And so we're trying to make people aware that in some of your 9, 10, 11 hours a day in front of a screen, you can make a healthier choice for certain reading certain content, whether it's writing or reading, or even if you are working on documents on a monitor, you could use it. I, I think that uh, if people used 1% more e-ink in the world, the GDP would go up 1%. <laughs> and, because and because people, uh, the Netflix down. is not very good for uh, GDP. What's not very good for GDP? Uh, Netflix. Oh, ne yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Because people just watching TV shows. They make a lot of content, though, so they must. Be I love I love Netflix. <laughs> the last uh, three years, I've been doing a lot of Netflix. But it's awesome to work in a company where you you see people that use your technology to be more productive. Yes. For productivity. Yes, and we're very fortunate. I've always counted myself to be fortunate. We have a loyal fan base globally of people who love e ink technology, and they follow everything we do. They post on different boards. They're about new products and they're loyal, excited, technical enthusiasts of the thing that, the differentiation that we bring to the world. So here we have Fujitsu. All right. Yes, I think so. And the phone. So this is a light phone. In some cases, there's a throwback initiative to getting back to some phones that are simpler, that don't have us necessarily staring at them all day long. So this is a simple phone. 
Uh, it looks awesome. It's yeah. on Amazon, I think. People can just no. buy it. Uh, I think, yes, I think people can just very buy affordable. it. Very yeah. affordable. It's a very simplified kind of like Android or yeah, something, no? Phones and texts. It's, yeah. Uh, just to make things super simple and hopefully very long battery life, potentially. It should be. Oh, this fossil. This is a fossil hybrid smartwatch. So people are familiar with their digital watches, with their digital screens that do cool things, and their fashion watches, which typically are analog and not digital. Fossil took the best of both worlds. They've made a fashion watch. It's beautiful. It looks nice on your wrist, but it still has some of those advanced features from the digital side. And that's why it's called the hybrid watch, and people love it. And these guys, Norwegians. Yeah. Fair, oh, with such a nice feeling, such a nice writing. Yes, and they have they're some great cloud on the, integration the on this whole one. Feeling, how yeah. it interacts with the material. Yes, they very much thing. work on the, the the surface feel and the pen tip feel in order to give you the paper writing experience, the feel of writing on paper, and you still get the entire digital experience of all your notebooks are with you at all times. And Amazon. And Amazon. Uh, yep. These guys have been shitting, sh uh, shipping, <laughs> sorry, my, I made my headphones, uh, shipping millions and millions of Kindles. Yeah, and, and now they have As of Q4 last year, they added the scribe. It still has all of the Kindle functionality, so you can get to your library and read your books. Uh, if you make your fonts bigger, and I have to admit, now that I'm older, I sometimes make my fonts bigger. You can get more words on the page. But this also integrates all that writing notebook capability that we've started to see catching on in other places. So it almost um, validates that this is going to be a significant category. And with, with more and more entrants in this space, I feel like it's potentially help, helping to bring the price down to <laughs> hopefully less than half an iPad, you know? <laughs> uh, and then it, it starts to become a no-brainer, especially if there's a cr sure. right cloud functionality. Yeah, I see people in different places on the plane or whatever say they love paper and they really want to stick with it. And then they have seven books, three books to read and three books to write in. And you could have all that in such a tiny amount of space and you still have the paper-like look and the paper-like feel. It's a compelling uh, story. And yeah, we are working constantly to bring prices down, but we're also constantly working with partners to improve that digital experience, whether it's cloud integration, whether it's user interface, um, trying to make the value more, and the feature set, what the customers expect. Nice. Once I was around Copenhagen and I saw an e ink bus stop. Yes, it was amazing. We have quite a few bus shelters globally. Europe, America, Taiwan, um, over in Asia. Uh, this one's done by ConnectPoint. Uh, in particular for bus shelters, they're good because we don't necessarily want to run power to each of them and we want the visibility effect. So that's a perfect fit for e ink. Uh, and whether it's this size, which is a little bit larger, 31, or whether it's this 13.3, and there's actually a, a, a double 13.3, so there's two of these side by side. This one by GDS is particularly interesting because it can be solar powered. So you, you stand your post up, you put your solar panel on top, boom, self-sustaining signage for your bus stop. Nice. And you just, uh, you just need to plug it on the floor or something, glue yes. it. Yes, you just, uh, it. they'd probably drill a hole. <laughs> they drill a hole? they probably drill a hole. It. Yes. All right. And this one's in Australia. It's done by Mercury Innovations. Uh, if you look, you can find some interesting signs in Australia where they have maybe 15 different signs sort of tacked onto each other in this confusing smorgasbord of you can't tell when you want to park. And so they've looked to improve the user experience of can I park here or not? It seems like a simple question, but there's the street cleaning days and the holidays, and so they actually integrated some EPD, some e-ink signs, uh, into this application of parking so that you can see them. Nice. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. Any so, other questions about this? I think we've walked through most of the booth at this point. What's the conversations you have here at the display week? People come and... Ah, people are, we've had a lot of conversations. Most of the comments on the Spectra 6 are, wow, how did you do that? We usually tell them secret sauce. I also, I could, I could show you. So we had a lot of comments on the Gallery 3 as well. So that's these two up here. As of last December, we announced the Gallery 3 product and that eight partners, customers, would be launching products with it. The first two to launch are Big Me and Pocketbook. And so this is interesting because it 
yeah. brings that native color experience, no color filter. It's using the same particles inside to generate the different colors, but into the very demanding consumer reading experience. So the transitions have to be fast. Our first version of gallery was about a 30 second transition, kind of as I mentioned before. And this is down to less than one second. That's a huge advancement that we were able to make. Uh, and we still are able to keep all this color information. So, so my father was collecting uh, uh, comic books from the 60s, 50s, oh, yeah. uh, the old tins and Everybody everything. Everybody wants uh, to do manga to, when they talk to me. <laughs> the question is, how do you get a, one subscription that gives you everything? So the Netflix of comic books. Uh, yeah, so at some point, if somebody wants to make a device like that, we'd be happy to support them. In most cases, if we're working with a Kobo or working with an Amazon, they have a catalog which may, or, which may include manga and they could deliver that to you in a digital service. In some cases, it's a subscription. In some cases, it's a buy content individually. Um, and we understand that graphic novel and all of that is an excellent nice. category fit. Uh, we're also working a lot in healthcare. Um, this small device down here is called Badger. It's particularly cool because it's basically closed caption for while you're talking. You wear it maybe as a doctor or a nurse, and then you go to your patient, and maybe that patient is hard of hearing, maybe that patient speaks a different language. This badge, in conjunction with your phone, and uh, I, it needs to connect with the phone. Yes, will right. translate in real time what you are saying and place it in the native language that you choose so that somebody can read it. Awesome. And it's a huge value. If you've ever been in one of those settings, it can be frustrating if you can't communicate and you need assistance. This is uh, potentially huge. We're also working for some larger things. Uh, these are digital whiteboards. You may have been in the hospital room and noticed there's a whiteboard. In many cases, it's never used. So we want to connect those whiteboards, still have the experience of getting information, but connect it to the back end medical records so it's relevant to the patient at all times. And when the patient leaves the room, all the information is immediately cleared so there's no information leak. This supports compliance. So we, we do some we interest and value in this application as well. And we continue to work on IoT. This particular one is an insulin pen. It's made by Bigfoot. And so a display in the cap don't mind that it says device error, it's a de demo unit. Um, yep. Helps you with your dosage information and tells you when it's been dispensed. And so we're continuing to push into the smart space of in Internet of Things. And I'm guessing one of the biggest market now for e-ink is, uh, uh, what do you call it, shelf labels. Shelf labels are a very strong market. must be in the hundreds of millions now, no? I think we have over 900 million displays worldwide installed, so it's huge. And many people will not be aware of it because you go to your store. In the US, you might go to a Whole Foods or a Kohl's or a Best Buy, and it looks like a shelf label. You don't even know that it's actually electronic paper. And it's like a no-brainer for all these supermarkets and everything. They it's, quickly understand how much savings it makes them to have this it's a It's a great ROI. It enables, first it's five to seven years. So once you install it, it lasts for a long time. It gives them labor savings. It's very expensive to send somebody out and change all the labels in a store. If you have 30,000 products in your store, it's a lot of labels to change and takes a lot of labor. Plus, we have shortages of people to hire. So if you are hiring, you might want them to do something else in the store instead. These stores are always competing with online retail. Online retail can change their pricing in an instant. It puts the, the retailer at a disadvantage if they don't have similar flexibility. And there's always compliance. In many cases, there's a requirement that your price on your shelf matches the price that you intend or have advertised. And so this helps with compliance as well. So in many ways, it's a strong ROI proposition right now. Cool. Uh, thanks a lot. That's awesome. Absolutely. How did we do? That was awesome. I even see some Prism here. Yes. Uh, so a lot this, of stuff happening. Absolutely. This is our first Prism line. There's here four different colors. Each one is white and a different color. And they'll slowly turn on here as we wait, I think. Um, and they highlight different ways that Eek is a sustainable company and makes a sustainable product that helps downstream. Our customers support sustainability. Dark sky approved. We don't give off any light. No light pollution. One of the only displays certified by the International Dark Sky Association. The Climate Pledge, that's the Amazon initiative in order to reduce uh, greenhouse emissions. 
uh, science-based targets, it's a similar thing. We walk the walk and our products help our customers do it as well. And thanks for the, for the walk and Absolutely. Talk. Anytime. I hope this was informative. I hope it was fun and maybe even educational. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching.